El Dorado by Edgar Allan Poe Gaily bedight, a gallant knight, in sunshine and in shadow, had journeyed long, singing a song, in search of El Dorado. But he grew old, this knight so bold, and o'er his heart a shadow fell as he found no spot of ground that looked like El Dorado. And as his strength failed him at length, he met a pilgrim shadow. Shadow, said he, where can it be, this land of El Dorado? Over the mountains of the moon, down the valley of the shadow, ride, boldly ride, the shade replied, if you seek for El Dorado. Oh, could I raise the darkened veil, by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Oh, could I raise the darkened veil, which hides my future life from me, could unborn ages slowly sail before my view, and could I see my every action painted there, to cast one look I would not dare, there poverty and grief might stand, and dark despair's corroding hand would make me seek the lonely tomb to slumber in its endless gloom, then let me never cast a look within fate's fixed mysterious book. The Valley of Unrest by Edgar Allan Poe Once it smiled a silent dell where the people did not dwell. They had gone unto wars, trusting to the mild-eyed stars, nightly from their azure towers, to keep watch above the flowers, in the midst of which all day the red sunlight lazily lay. Now each visitor shall confess the sad valley's restlessness. Nothing there is motionless, nothing save the airs that brood over the magic solitude. Ah, by no wind are stirred those trees that palpitate like the chill seas around the misty Hebrides. Ah, by no wind those clouds are driven that rustle through the unquiet heaven, uneasily from morn to even over the violets there that lie in myriad types of the human eye, over the lilies there that wave and weep above a nameless grave. They wave, from out their fragrant tops external dews come down in drops. They weep, from off their delicate stems Perennial tears descend in gems.